What so proudly we hailed. It's billed as the Super Bowl of Masonry. How's it going, Luke? Good to see you, man. Eight teams of two workers building the highest and best 26-foot-long brick wall in one hour. A lot of back-breaking work here. Hope everybody enjoys the work that we do because it's hard work. Get your back up off the wall. The Bricklayer 500 is not just a competition. It's their pride and joy. It is their artwork. It's their canvas for what they do every day. It's a celebration of craftsmanship that shapes our neighborhood. It's real hard work, but there's so much pride to drive by and say, hey, we did that, we built that, you know, it's, it's a big deal. For years, this event has attracted Masons from all over. This isn't for everybody. It's, this is hard. But it's worth it in the end, I guess, if you win. Each eager to showcase their talent and claim the coveted title of best bricklayer in the Midwest. Secret to success is keep your head down and keep going to the clock stops. The competitors work vigorously in the hot sun. Uh, go and get a good sweat. Hands moving with precision as bricks were laid one by one. Doing good, TT. Doing good. Come on. Line and go. Line and go. Good. Watch your ball. Coached by their uncle. Just another set of eyes trying to help. Brothers JT and Jack Payne are part of a family tradition in brick. I did this myself back in the early 90s, and it's, it's, it's really cool to pull something like this off. We've got 30 seconds, guys. 30 seconds. Go, JT! Go, Jay! Go, JT! And when the last brick was in and time was up, 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 it was the Payne brothers who put down 683 bricks in one hour, Give it up for these nations, everybody. making them the best in the Midwest.